My name is Charlotte, and I work in the Historic Clothing Department at the New Canaan Museum and Historical Society in Connecticut. We are currently photographing the collection for our database. Today, Claudia and Yukta helped me photograph the dresses. They've been working really hard on some behind-the-scenes digitizing. As a side note, I'm really excited for the next few gowns I get to show you. They're absolutely incredible, starting with this one, so let's jump into it. We selected a black sequined gown from around 1903 to photograph. It includes an evening cape, underskirt, bodice, and this skirt right here. Also, let me know if you recognize the dress behind Yukta. But this dress was worn by a woman named Sybil Harris King, and it was donated to our museum in 1986 by her granddaughter Judith, who lived in New Canaan. A lot of people might think it's a morning gown because it's black. However, morning gowns were often very plain and not embellished like this. It was not unheard of to simply have a black evening gown. The gown itself has a lot of early 1900s elements, including a pigeon breast bodice, which balloons out at the front and looks very blousy in contrast to the earlier 1880s dresses, which are very structured. The skirt also does not have a bustle. It just falls at the hips and flares at the ground. And the sequins on the dress are metal as plastic and gelatin sequins did not come until later. The gown comes with a matching evening cape as an accessory. Evening dress often included capes as a fashion statement or to protect the clothes, although this cape might have just provided some warmth, but it was most likely just a fashion statement. It was pretty heavy, though. I also just love this little velvet X on the sleeve, and you can see the design of the dress a little bit on the back. I also just wanted to get a close-up shot of the cape. It very much makes me think of a trip to the opera house, the flowers are covered in sequins and the design goes all the way to the back, which is beautiful. Also, the collar looks like a flower. And then here are some of the final photos, which I think turned out pretty nicely. And we will end up using these for our database, but also our newsletter, social media, and website. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think.